Hi, my name is Trip Weston. Recently, I produced the television nature series, Man. Over the course of filming, our cameras witnessed unprecedented displays of evolution, strange mutations never before observed by the human eye. When I spoke to a prominent marine biologist, she claimed it was due to Port Clovis's extreme levels of radioactivity and industrial effluent. But I couldn't shake the feeling that she was merely trying to play me. What did she really do? And why wasn't she telling me? Then, as if the stars had all aligned, the former Q-level security specialist sat down next to her. What he told me would haunt me for the better part of a year and lead me back to Port Clovis on a dangerous journey through dark secrets, government cover-ups, and a clandestine cabal of extraterrestrial elites single-mindedly determined to enforce their will on humankind. Come with me on a quest for the truth. Truth Quest. Judging by the bull's behavior, she smells a new creature. If it threatens her apex status, a heated confrontation is inevitable. The predator must act quickly, lest she lose the scent of her prey. Shark works the odor trail with a singular focus. Perhaps she's caught scent of Jormungandr, the world encircling sea serpent of Norse legend. What admirable hustle! The creature has disappeared, probably whisked away by a government boat, lest we capture the beast on video. This ship is more of the otherworldly technology that Dwight Eisenhower acquired in his 1954 abduction pack with the humans. Questers, whatever it is the shark caught sent, the secretive Black Ops unit conspicuously called NWO has captured it. What might be their nefarious plan? These beaches were built by the initiates of the Dionysian Sun Cult, known for their pagan rituals of catching some rays and scoping some babes. The markings on this satellite suggest that it belongs to Site P, a top secret military compound, and perhaps the home base of these NWO troops. Shark! 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 
Unfortunately, I suspect there's more over that game. Hey! Right there! A bounty has been posted. The shark will have to be cautious until the hunters grow up. A source close to the Army Corps of Engineers informs me that the group has been involved in a purposely directed Gulf depopulation program for years. This is the Plover Island Complex, commonly referred to as Site P. Whatever bizarre and dark depravity lurks within its bowels, we're about to find out. Electric extraterrestrial military robots. Get that shark appear the great galleons of the global conspiratorial elite. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. The big fish seek shelter as the NWO shock troops assemble. There's nothing wrong with my fish. Wrap it up, everyone. Back to base. The alien cabal is forced to give ground. But rest assured, they have already begun remarshalling their forces. Don't be fooled by this elaborate diorama. The real horrors are buried deep underground.
Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. You can tell that this is old World War II technology, due to all the flickering. This satellite is but one of millions in the villainous cabal's interstellar quantum communications. Anticipating a reprisal, the Predator flees. The NWO is still in hot pursuit. Because unlike her pursuers, she doesn't have a 5,000 horsepower engine. This footage 
could only be captured with the best professional grade Swedish drone cameras. successfully evaded the New World shot troops, at least for the time being. <laughs> NASA's fraudulent Apollo 11 moon landing was necessary. Otherwise, the world would have seen the domes and spires of the insectoid's lunar base, Vraxon. The Electric Great White. The large and numerous teeth of the Electric Great White are so bright, you consider that you probably died from electrocution first. Saccharides, sugar molecules that naturally revitalize human joints. Only sharkalage has 1,000 potent milligrams in every capsule, and it's only from survival. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta.
six months ago, only to be met with personal attacks by uninformed citizens like Monglord69, who commented, what a dumb A-word, F-word piece of S-word. Continue in that vein for several paragraphs. Threatens to enter Protocol 5. These are dark actors who play dark games. And they don't appreciate anyone attempting to foil their dark bodies. Horrified at what she's already with. The Predator lashes out against the Illuminist group's deceitful agenda. Form vile acts of supreme debauchery.
up to overthrow the Grand Duke of Luxembourg. While intellectually, I understand that adrenochrome is a byproduct of synthetic epinephrine with no practical applications. Emotionally, I understand that it's siphoned directly from children's pineal glands as the immortality drug of the Luciferian elite. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. When she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly there to watch for food.
venture further into the heart of darkness, you may be shocked by the atrocities unfolding before you. Block 50 users from commenting. This is just the sort of response I prepared for after dedicating myself to informing the masses about the real truth behind global events. Mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. Bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. The shark struggles to disentangle the Illuminist's web, fabrication, and untruth. The shark refuses to subjugate herself to the insectoid's will, and thus is targeted as a threat. Many people believe that 300,000 years ago, the insectoids created humans to mine the Earth's gold. But this is absurd. They're clearly more interested in our copper reserves. Insidious forces have grown despondent, perhaps recognizing that they have but a short time left to rule. The shark has taken a keen interest in an electrical transformer.
transformer must have been powering NASA's insidious Project Blue Beam. But how did the shark know? this wily since Babe Winkleman tried to catch that pike in northwestern Ontario. The Bulls Olfactory Center registers the sweet smell of freedom. Now we see what the NWO's been hiding. Inside sources have ascertained its name, Moloch. This devious aquatic bioweapon is designed to disperse a mist of viral particulate, a potent combination of Ebola, anthrax, and Lassa fever. Within weeks, it will spread from Port Clovis to infect the entire world. Then, Big Pharma will reveal that they've developed a vaccine. The price? Every country must submit to the Insectoid Brotherhood. We must stop them before they can implement their demonic program. 